you are welcome to make them take today we want to look at how to use javascript to build a desktop application using nwjs nwjs is an application framework that makes the development of desktop applications possible through the use of javascript it combines together the power of node and chromium and it also comes with a native gui library So now this is the program file norma 0.37.4 but because of what we want to build we want to build uh, a desktop application that counts a counter that counts one two three four five and so on so we want something that is simple and at the end of the day i want my folder to be very small so because of that i'm not going to use this this is what you are supposed to use so i want to use a lower version previous releases so i want to use 0 0.8 points so every day i should be getting something like maybe 70 or less than that 70 mb so that's what we want to do so let me download this then we will use that so. yes we have successfully downloaded the program files for nwjs and these are the files this is an executable file yes we can see that it's more like a blank page we have not done anything and that is why we are having this yes we don't need this let's open this folder with brackets that is my code editor yes the first thing we have to do is to create a package.json file. This file allows us to control the UI window of our application. So let's do that now. Package.json. Yes, this is what we have. Okay, now I will come back to this. Let's create the other files. Let's create our index.html file. Then our CSS file. Default.css. And lastly, our JavaScript file. App.js. Now, these are the four files that we need for now. So let me go back to package.json. Now we need to write some JSON codes that will allow us to control our UI window. So I've already customized my brackets editor. So this is the this is the code. Main index.html. This is the file that we load first and that is what we have here then the name description version words down like that account numbers one two three and app that counts Now the title of our app is counter. Then logo.png. So let's set our width to 500, then our height to 500, then the center. So let's check out what has changed. 
so this is what we have now it's still blank now I want to change the name of this executable file to counter HTML you don't need this so we need to provide a an area where our number will be displayed then also for our buttons start then this stop reset ID start ID stop ID reset X so let's call this control now let's let's open our application counter now we can see the number here we can see the buttons here now we need to write a javascript code that will allow us to refresh the application the page of the application whenever a change is made let's do that now document dot body dot add event listener double click double click function location dot reload so whenever our application is double clicked something happens and that is a reload of course now let's go to default dot css Let's style our our HTML max dot height. No, let's do max dot width. That's what we need. Hundred percent. Body. web kit web kit user select none then our p that is holding our number we have font family let's use dg face wide and the font size Let's call it 5 em then what else okay let's centralize it center okay so now let's open our application again So let's style our button control text align center then our button so the font weight let's make it 600 then border radius let's make it 0 0.4 em and what else okay let's check out our application and see what has changed wow now uh, i don't want this outline I don't want this to show in my application 
so let's get rid of that i want to look real none now let's proceed to our app.js now we need to declare our variables let's use var because we are using a lower version we could have as well use let so var p is equal to document dot query selector p so then our start document document dot query selector start then stop and that is stop stop reset x reset x then we need another variable num count num count yes yes we need to write a function function counter p dot inner html is equal to p dot inner html plus one what is inside p dot inner html is a string so we need to convert it to a number that's it now because we want to count from one to two to three like that we need to write a code that will call our function this function that will call this code every second so we are going to use set timeout set timeout function so that is 1000 so when we call counter so counter is called every second now let's go to the next one yes start start dot add event is now click function counter so this code calls our function our counter so let's check what has changed start one two three four five so stop now stop at event list now so now clear timeout so we need to assign this code to norm count so that we can do clear timeout here norm count yes so we have assigned it to a variable norm count so clear timeout clear timeout that is not count yes so, and let's check out what has changed that's one two three four five stop let's move to the last one and that is reset x dot add event listener click So we need to 
first of all clear timeout then we we'll assign zero to p dot inner html so we want to bring back the count to zero after pressing reset so i want to believe that i have not made any mistake so let's open let's see what we are going to have now so start one two three four stop yes okay so let's reset now one two three reset zero so we we'll start again then you reset start if you click on stop you can still continue to continue so that's that so we don't need this code again yes now the next thing we need to do is to design a a logo color draw So let's manage this and let's export it and PNG that's a logo export so we are done so we can copy this or we cut this and we put it. so we need to close this application and relaunch it again so that we can see the effect of what we have just done now yes so this is the logo and this is the logo here so and this brings us to the end of the tutorial so I want you to watch out for my next video which is going to be centered on how to package NWGS applications such that it can be transferred and can also be installed on systems. So thank you for watching. God bless you. Goodbye.